can I just say, I love this place. I mean, not just because I'm a winner, but uh, that does help. Thunder Valley Casino Summer Toys. Now through May 31st, you could be one of 160 guaranteed winners, including one grand prize winner each drawing. Is it just me or is it hot in here? It's just me. Preparation is a key factor in being successful on the water. And at the Future Pro Tour, some of the best bass professionals in the West give out helpful information regarding both techniques and equipment. Hi, I'm Mark Fong, and I'm here with your Future Pro Tour Tip of the Week. Today I'd like to talk about a technique that's been really popular on the tournament circuit over the last several years. It's called the shaky head technique. The shaky head technique excels when conditions are tough, when you have um, clear water, finicky fish, um, high skies, no wind. This technique catches a lot of fish. But not only does it catch quantities of fish, it's a great technique to catch quality fish as well. Really quick, the technique, excuse me, the tackle I like to use when fishing this technique, um, since it's a light line technique, I fish it on a spinning rod. I like to use a seven foot medium or medium light action rod, six pound fluorocarbon line, and a spinning reel. Now the spinning reel that I use is made by US Reel. It's called the Supercaster. One of the advantages of the Supercaster, it has a wide diameter spool. And because it does, it helps me manage the uh, line twist associated with fishing fluorocarbon line. That's quite common with a spinning reel. So on the business end of this outfit, um, I like to use a screw-in um, jig head. This one is made by Big Bite Baits Company. Um, it features a gamakatsu hook. I like to use an eighth ounce jig head. I like to use the lightest weight possible. However, if it's windy or if I need to have better contact, I'll move up to 3 16 of an ounce. Now the bait that I'm fishing is, is kind of unique. This bait is called the Squirrel Tail Worm, and it was designed by Bassmaster Elite Pro Jeff Crete, specifically for shaky head fishing. Now let me point out a couple of the unique features of this bait. One is you can see that it has a thick head, and because of that, it has a solid attachment point to where it screws in. So it's a really durable bait. In addition to that, it has a very thin body. What that does is it creates a lot of action. And this tail is made of very buoyant material. So what it does is it creates great flotation. And when the bait's in the water, it, it positions itself like this with a nose down attitude. As the tail floats up, any movement whatsoever creates an amazing triggering mechanism. So this, this bait, like I said, was designed um, specifically for shaky head fishing, and it's just a great bait. This bait comes in two sizes, four and a half and six and a half inches. Um, I typically start with the six and a half inch style, but if I'm not getting bit, I'm not afraid to go down and fish the smaller size. So next time you're on the lake, um, and you wanna get out there and catch some more fish, try the shaky head technique and um, I'm sure you'll catch some more fish. And I'm Mark Fong, and this is your Future Pro Tour Tip of the Week. We are here, here at Folsom Lake, 42 of the best amateur anglers in the West, competing for cash and prizes and perhaps a berth into the 2010 Future Pro Tour Classic to be held on Lake Comanche and on the California Delta November 7th and 8th, going out of stock, Port of Stockton. Hey guys, Folsom 2010. We are here with Team Cocoons. I've got my cocoons on. I see you guys do. How'd you guys do today, Rich? Uh, we did fair. We ended up with about probably 15 pounds or so. Pretty tough day for a lot of people out there from what we hear, so we're feeling pretty good. What about you? How do you think you did, Justin? Well, I think we're up there. Everybody we talked to is tough, but the glasses were at work for us today. We saw some big fish, and uh, that's how we caught them with the glasses all day. Cocoon just was the best glasses I've ever worn. So. Yeah, these polarized glasses are fantastic for seeing in the water, especially when you have conditions like this. What was your bait of choice today? I was throwing a drop shot most of the day today. And you? And I was throwing a Cinco all day. Wonderful. Well, hey, we are so proud to have Cocoons with us on the Future Pro Tour. Now back to you, Vince.
You know, you can have some time off. Todd's a, 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 a 747 or what? Airbus captain. Airbus captain with United Airlines. You know what? You had some time off because of that volcano. You, you know, you could <laughs> You should have been practicing, man. What happened? I don't know. We lost more than we caught today. We had a good swim bait bike going that just disappeared. We had nothing but followers going with us and uh, nothing but a single bike. That was all we could find. Nothing but a single bike. Four fish. Good for 727. With 727, you're going to be demoted to a 727 at that kind of performance. He's gonna pick out his big fish. That's gonna be that one. Let's see. Look at that, guys! It's here for that catch! Look at that! Uh, in the trees, five, six feet of water was it. Uh, water temperature was the thing. 60 degree, 60 degree water. Found fish. Oh, one, two, three, let's hear it! Woo! That's a nice big fish. Hey, we're at Folsom 2010 Future Pro Tour. I am with Jordan. Jordan, you were fishing from a belly boat today. How did that go? It actually went pretty well, you know, I had to fish very patiently and very slowly, but I managed to pick up a limit within the last half hour of fishing today, so everything worked out all right today. Wonderful, and what kind of bait was your choice? Uh, it was drop shot all day long, nothing but drop shot. Wonderful, well thank you for coming out for the Future Pro Tour. But, so today when I went out, we got the bed fish, we stumbled across a five pound bed fish, which we got, and then the spot we started, we went back there this afternoon, we were surrounded by boats and just went to town, man. I mean, we just started crushing three and a half pound spots like crazy. So I think we got about 20 pounds. But here we go again. Here we go again, and 2012, 2012 on a tear again. They're gonna get a check for $2,650. Navionic Cup, 2009, 2009 Anglers of the Year. Once more again, Vince Burnell and Scott Stevens. Here they come again. You guys gonna have to put your games on. You ain't gotta worry about them next year. But here we go again. Guys, what is going on? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, we had a phenomenal day. First thing I want to do is congratulate all the rest of the guys uh, out there today because I'll tell you what, we came out here yesterday. Actually, I came out here yesterday, and I was very discouraged. Um, caught two fish yesterday, and I called him up and said, man, it's going to be tough. I hope we catch a limit. But I had an area where there were fish. Um, it came together. We stumbled across a bed fish. It was almost six pounds that he caught, and everything just played, you know, came together. Um, there, it wasn't no secret spot. Um, there was boats all around us catching fish. I mean, we were catching fish, but <laughs> they're they're right there with us. But um, I also want to thank uh, Navionics because for the guys that don't know lakes where you're going, I mean, we're not from around here, and we use our Navionics ship everywhere we go. And if you want to get familiar with the water, if you're looking for a specific uh, type of structure or whatever it is you're after, they're on the chips. And it's no joke. Look into it, you'll, you'll see for yourself. You concur with that, man? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was enough. Let's hear it for the Thunder Valley High Rollers Open. Now, to be honest, Cup Champions. Well, that wraps up another edition of the Future Pro Tour. We would like to thank those that participated in this event for their support and invite each of you to come out and be part of the most exciting amateur bass fishing circuit in the West. The Future Pro Tour has been brought to you by Ranger Boats, Evan Root Outboards, Tracy Toyota, Minn Kota, Hummingbird, Rockstar Energy Drinks, Cocoon's Eyewear, and these fine sponsors.